good morning everyone in this video we'll see about absolute liability earlier we have seen what is strict liability this video will see what is absolute liability there is a very slight difference between strict liability and absolute liability before studying absolute liability you have to read what is strict liability essential ingredients and defenses for it then only you can understand the absolute liability the difference is strict liability is a liability irrespective of negligence on the part of the defendant whatever whatever the negligence on part of defendant defendant is responsible with certain defenses available for the defendant but absolute liability is a liability irrespective of negligence on the part of defendant without any defenses on it so this is a only difference once again strict liability will have defenses for defendant absolute liability doesn't have defenses on def for defendant um, for example uh, the defendant is owning a gas factory a poisonous gas factory um, a petroleum gas factory a petroleum factory uh, inflammable things he is handling the basic security safety measures he has to take and he has to take there is no exception there is no excuse for that person for this point if any hazardous factory he is establishing that is chemical factory gas factory petroleum factory anything the safety security measures should be taken if any problem happened in the factory though he has taken necessary measures in that case also the person the owner the defendant is liable for the negligence so this is absolute liability there are some famous case laws for uh, this absolute liability uh, one is bhopal gas leak case there is union carbide corporation versus union of india the poisonous bo bopal poisonous gas case second one is a mc mehta versus another uh, versus sri ram fertilizer industries and others this oleum gas leak case in both the cases the principal absolute liability was implemented thank you for watching see you in the next video